You know, if I ever am in a bad mood and <laughs> too fucking bad about that, there's not much we can do. But uh, if I ever want to feel good and uh, somehow I can control it and shift it, I could think about the time someone I know, a friend, handed me a gun. We was like, we was like, yeah, awesome, dude. This is awesome. I'm glad you got this. This is great. And, you know, I, I'm an American and all that shit. So guns are awesome. Guns are like breathing air, except for who needs air when you have a gun? You can just take air from other people, right? So um, he handed me a gun and I played around with it for a second because he's like showing it off. And I'm like, yeah. And like all my friends are, you know, they've all done this before. And I did, I looked away when I handed him back the gun and then he loaded the gun and gave it back to me. And so it's like, it's playtime still for me. I, I don't know who, I don't know what the hell makes you think it's time to load a gun and give it to someone like me. Yet alone, like, you know, when you're showing it off, like, don't give it to me. And then I play around with it, and then you load it, and then give it back to me. But uh, it, it was so funny. It was, like, it was exactly everything you shot, thought it shot it would be, right? Uh, such a Freudian slip, isn't it? It's everything you shot it would be. And um, <clears throat> except for no one died. You know, God bless us all. No one died. So I, I, I think of that every now and then, and I'm like... <laughs> That's like one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Like there's so much stuff in my life that's so extreme and it's and, and so funny. And like really you have to reach this level where you load a gun and give it to me and then something happens. We, you know, I'll let your imagination figure out whatever's happening. If that person ever sees this video, they know exactly what's happened. And what happened is they said, we should probably like go to our houses and calm down for a while because someone probably called the cops over that. <laughs> um, and luckily, like no one died. Because <laughs> like, what was hit, uh, it was like a large freaking hole. Yeah, it was, I, I didn't know a little gun like that could like just produce a freaking chasm in whatever it hit and like it was black all around it too it's like we don't know i don't know how big the chasm was but it was hilarious i gotta tell you that and if anything bad would have happened it's kind of like your fault if you give me a gun to play around with it and then you load it and give it back to me like i'm going to um stop playing around with it once you have loaded live cartridges into it. And why have you loaded live cartridges into it? Especially because the first time I'm probably not pointing at any near people. And this time I'm about a foot away from a person. Although with shotguns, I've probably been like closer than a foot to people. And then we get the neighbors from a mile away coming like, hey, you know those bullets that just came through our house fucking... They missed us by a few feet, stuff like that. I never said that. That didn't happen. That's not real, right? Like, my life is fake. Don't believe anything I say, right? But um, yeah, that's a little funny thing I like to think of every now and then. When I think of guns and stuff, I've always said, like, you know what, my friends? It's, it's not that everyone I know doesn't own a gun. It's that they don't want to sell me guns they never thought it'd be a good idea to be like hey here's a gun for you dude because you're you're just gonna like never use it and keep it under your car seat and i think of um also when i say that when i was in portland and this robber came up to me and and two robbers they thought they was tough guys and they're like like escalating it quickly they're like you got a gun like they has that i think first and then so i'm like reaching over into my side console after they get a little aggressive and they like jump <laughs> like a foot and start running and it's like i didn't have a gun dude trust me like what i'm gonna do to you is like <laughs> a gun would make your life fucking in peacefully <laughs> fucking i didn't have a gun you don't have to run away from me like that that would have taken me a few seconds to pull out what I had. I had to fucking, like, 
24 inch blade and shit. So, I mean, you could have like easily avoided that. But I, I think of all these little things and it's like, it's so amusing. Some of the stuff I get involved in and it's like, it's so crazy. And it's like some shit you never see on TV, like every second of it. I, I'm not even proud of it like as a child, the shit I did. You can't put that on TV. If we were to record that, we'd be in fucking prison for 34 lifetimes or something. Um, and some people understood close to what we were doing. And we had, a, like, investigators in large cities after us for shit we didn't really do. But because just because they knew, like, that's probably who's doing that. And it's like, well, technically, no, like... You, if you knew us enough, you would understand. You didn't know. You didn't have any proof. If, if you thought we were doing something, then that was someone else. But they they were, like, just smart enough to understand that they should have had a whole fucking task force going on us. And I think of all this shit sometimes, and it's just like, sometimes it's just so funny, like, no matter what bullshit I deal with, it's it's fucking awesome to think of some of this shit and it's like I didn't get paid like twenty billion dollars for making a, a Hollywood spectacular out of my life for the things we've done, but you can't do that. Like um you can't do that on television. When I was a kid there was a show called You Can't Do That on Television. And I swear it's like one of those things that preface what I was already doing in life. Even as a, a six-year-old, four-year-old that was like a foot and a half tall. Man, some of those things were... They had to make movies like Chucky and stuff about stuff like that. It, you couldn't have put me on TV. People didn't like, oh, wow, he's fucked up. Fucking... But, man, I just think of this stuff sometimes and it's still so... It, it, it goes back to being so funny. Like, there's sometimes it, it's like a little joke. Someone tells a joke about poop or farting. And yeah, like your grandma told you that joke. And you're like, ah, that was so funny. I'm glad I have that memory. And man. But at the same time, it, it's funny. It's like, it's, it's a kind of disappointing because I could get so rich off this stuff. But, um,. I understand, like, not to run my mouth. You've had this discussion with other people, with pretty much everyone involved in my life. We've had this discussion, like, even when we talk to other people about what we do, they don't believe it. And, and that so expands into what's going on today for me. I am... People probably think I just went off the deep end, and it's like... Well, I mean, I did, but I'm, like, I'm down at the bottom, like, trying to uh, breach the freaking, the floor of the ocean and find out what's below the floor of the ocean, because no one's figured that out yet. And it is, so, yeah, I, I went off the deep end. Hell, I, I set four, I set C4 charges on the boat to blow it up, and there's no one else down there. No one even knows I went off the deep end. Uh, realistically, because I blew the boat up and I swung to the bottom. Uh, but I'm still down here learning to breathe in liquid like the fish do. Swimming with the fishies. But it, all this stuff, like, man, <laughs> maybe they'll show you guys some days. It makes me wonder what I've seen in 2020, how many of you actually were involved in this stuff to begin with. And it's like, Wow, um, you guys really, like, you guys like see all that stuff and you still talk to me? That's crazy. Um, but, yeah, like, it's it's so funny. I think of that a lot of times. That was like a pretty cool gun story. Like, that's like a really American gun story. And I didn't tell you how it ends. So fill in the blank, you know, how you want. Or I'll just tell you no one died. Because, you know, when someone dies, I generally tell you about that when I know it. And then the other times when someone may have died, I'm just like, well, hey, you know, um, you know, oh, oh, well, like shit happens. And uh, other times the media will tell you maybe a bunch of other people might have died. And it's like, well, I get all together for him. 
Right on. No one died that I know of that day. And unless you think like material goods are just the same as humans, and that's another discussion. But that was pretty interesting how that ended up. And I always think of that like when I'm in a bad mood. And it's just so fucking hilarious. Like, don't ever hand someone a gun and then take it from them and load it and hand it back to them without like tapping them on the head there and being like, hey, like I just fucking put in lethal rounds into this machine I've handed you. Because shit could happen and has happened and we're all lucky we're alive after that situation.